Okay, so I'm on my way to work and I had something on my mind for a while now um, and I thought I haven't made a video in a while and I like to keep making videos it's just the times are just I don't know I'm gonna try I'm gonna carry on uh, pretty much it's about dumb shit that we just do Times there's no reason for us to do it, but we still do it. Just the heat of the moment, I guess. Like, I'm gonna be honest, because there's no point in me lying. Um, I saw someone drop money on the floor, um, and I picked it up. saw that it was a good 150 like, pounds and I thought to myself I want to give this money back however I decided to not give back the full amount um, I gave back 110 I took a bit to myself and you're probably thinking the same thing I thought I'm a real piece of shit then yeah I felt like that I did um, I kept that money and I, just, I, just, I don't know why like a part of me for if I wasn't there someone else would have picked up that money see if I wasn't there someone else would have picked it up and someone else would have kept the whole amount the guy was unaware that he even lost the money you see so in my eyes obviously I didn't want to keep the full amount but I did want some of the money because obviously doesn't want just a little bit of money on the side, right? Um, so that's pretty much what I've done, and I felt like a real piece of shit after my whole life. Um, I don't know why. I like it's funny because at the exact moment I picked up that money, I thought to myself. All of it, and I can't give anything back if I wanted to. And then I not like it was like I was being like like there was a battle, a battle right between like a good part of me and a bad part of me, which was like keep all of it, don't say dick to nobody. And you just got yourself a hundred and fifty pounds. That nice and easy, no stress, nothing, normal done. Then another part of me thought, that's not right, of course, like, I shouldn't do that, logically, no, like, you saw someone drop it, why, why would you be the asshole to keep all of it? And I thought, man, that money could do me really well right now. I could really use that money. And I thought, but I don't want to be a piece of shit to keep all of it. And then, like, this all happened like a split second, I swear. And then I thought, wait a minute, but if I wasn't here and I was someone else, if, if, the, if, the, if there was nobody else here, they would keep the money. Straight up, they will keep the money, right? Let's say if I if I didn't even notice the money and I carried it walking past, and the guy behind me didn't see the, the guy drop the money, right? He will keep it. So I thought, 
let's meet halfway. Like, logically, let's meet halfway. How about I just keep a little bit? And yeah, I've done the wrong thing, I know. Morally, ethically, I should have given back the whole money, and I do, I do regret it. Like, it's not something I, sh I should have done, and not something I'm proud of either. You know, but. I've realised I've, I've I've been I've been doing these things more and more recently, where I keep somewhat battling with myself what I should and what I shouldn't do. With everyday things, you know, and I've been watching a guy called. Jordan Peterson, which he's quite popular, quite a few people know him. Um, he's, he's very insightful. He said something that made me think after what I've done, made me think, you know, you can try to be, someone just fucking cut me over. Anyway, he said you can try to be the, the best person you can. You can try to be the nicest person you can every day. But it will be so hard because no one is truly good. Like, no one is a hundred percent pure and good unless you really try unless you really try because at the end of the day there's going to be one or two things that you're going to do that obviously could have been done better or could have been done more ethically you know could have been done more righteous i guess the word to use you know unless you really 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 try your hardest, you're never going to be 100% a good person. And it's so true. Because every day, I try to be the nicest I can. Every day, I try to be the best I can, you know, to the people around me. You know, I, every time I, every time I try to see a homeless person, Every time I see a homeless person, I try to see. Every time I see a homeless person, I try to obviously give them a bit of money, help out the community around me. You know, even if I don't have, you know, the most money, I still try to give a little bit to the people around me, help out whatever way I can. Because at the end of the day, we need to help each other out. You know, it's just it's just part of life. No one can go through life without helping anyone out. But even when you're caught at that moment where you have to really prove if you're good deep down, I failed at it. I did, I, I failed at it. I should have given the whole money back, but I didn't. You know, and. There's other scenarios, of course, in life as well, where I thought, you know, I could have really like done this better. I, I, I shouldn't. I should not have done that. You know, small things at times. You know, like getting pissed off at someone you shouldn't get pissed off at. You know, S small, small things. You know what I mean? And then you think to yourself, I really should have done that. Well, I could have done that better in this way and that way. But at times, it just happens. The heat of the moment is the best way to put it. The heat of the moment, it just it just happens. Um, and I was, funny enough, after that happened, the next few days, I, I was really debating myself, like, am I a piece of shit? Like, am I actually like a piece of shit? Because I felt like one. I did. Tupac, the famous rapper. I was watching, I just happened to stumble across a video of it, as you could say. Um, I'm paraphrasing here, because I don't know exactly what he said. But 
also along the lines of you can't try to be an angel, angel living in hell. And I took a step back, a step back after I heard that. And I thought, damn, that's, that's like some truth or deep shit. Because you can't. How can you, how can you be an angel living in hell? You can't. It, it, the, the, the two just don't go together. How, how can you be the nicest person in the world? You know, the pure hearted person when everyone around you is the devil. Because in a way, I thought, well, so I just be a dick to everyone then? Like, because a lot of people fuck you over, like, for our life, that's the truth. Everyone's gonna fuck you over. So one, someone's gonna fuck you over one day or the other, right? Like, in some sort of way. Um, someone's gonna do some dirty shit to you one, one day, and then you're nice to everyone else. You're as nice as you can to every single person, but then some people just don't give a fuck, and they will be absolute tricks to you, absolute dirt to you. So I'm guessing it's, it's hard to say, like it really is. I thought, should I be more of a, a cunt then? Should I be more of a piece of shit? Should I just fucking not give a fuck about anything or anyone because at the end of the day no one's going to give a shit about me or you know what I do you know what I mean then why should I bother why why should I but you got to be better than that really saying these things because obviously like I said I'm, I'm in my mind I keep being torn I feel like between good and evil in a way you know like should I be good to people whatever else around me is a piece of shit or should I just go with the flow it's hard like it really is I guess you can't ever be a hundred percent of a good person. You can't unless you truly, truly try. But even then, you, you, there's still gonna be, you know, because we're all human. So yeah, I just thought I'd get that out of my head because I've been wanting to like just communicate, I guess, to someone. Um, and probably put my views out there and see maybe anyone can relate. Or, whatever um, but yeah that's it thanks for watching peace out